Well, Death Valley is definitely a land of extreme contrast. We've got these incredibly rugged, steep mountains here on the east side of the Badwater Basin. These are the Black Mountains formed by faulting, pushing the mountains up and dropping the valley down over the last few million years. Uh, and then as we kind of wheel around to the west, we see the extremely flat landscape of the Badwater Basin, this playa, this big dry lake bed uh, that's sitting out here, completely flat and horizontal. So we need, uh, you know, it sort of necessitates some sort of landscape feature that fits in between the two. And one of the most distinctive features we see here in Death Valley, and they're common in other places too, but they're really world-class here in Death Valley, are these things called alluvial fans. So at the mouth of these steep, narrow canyons in the mountains, uh, we have these aprons, these fan-shaped aprons of sediment, ranging from boulder size over here, uh, down to sand and gravel and even smaller particles. All this stuff is, of course, washed down these narrow canyons when there's intense flash floods and rainstorms. The floods carry the material through the canyon, but when it hits the flat desert floor, it drops it. Once all the energy is lost, when it hits this flat level valley floor, all that sediment is deposited here at the front of the mountain uh, to form these in incredible features called alluvial fans. Um, so you can see there's a diversity of sediment sizes in here from boulders down to smaller particles. But as again, as we scan around uh, to the east, you can see out there where it's white, that's all mud and salt. So by the time we've reached there, and that's not even a quarter mile or so from here, uh, these flash floods have lost all their energy and have deposited all their sediment um, up until that point. And, and then from there on out across the flats, it's all just fine mud and salt that precipitates out of this water when it, when it evaporates. Um, one interesting thing about Death Valley is the alluvial fans change from one side to the other. So if you look across to the west to the Panamint Range, uh, we can see that the alluvial fans are much larger. Those alluvial fans are miles from head to toe, uh, much wider uh, and carry an, an enormous amount of sediment. And so those alluvial fans have a lot more drainage area above them. And so they've got a bigger area to, to Ch channel the water and then flush the sediment out into the basin. The alluvial fans here on the east side in the Black Mountains are pretty small. Uh, these things are actually pretty small, uh, maybe half a mile or so from the mouth of the canyon down to their toe. And so they're much smaller in extent. And I can kind of explain that a little bit better uh, with this fancy drawing here. So if we look at sort of a simple cross section through Death Valley from the west side to the east side. We've got the Panamint Mountains on the west, the Black Mountains on the east, and here's Death Valley. And the reason why we have these di distinctly different alluvial fans has to do with the faulting. So both of these mountain ranges are abruptly uh, faulted and uplifted on their, uh, on their west sides. So the fault that controls the uplift of the mountains on the west side, creating a very steep mountain front on the west side of the mountains. Over here in the Black Mountains, this is where we are here in Death Valley, we're right up against this extremely steep western front of the mountains. And so the streams don't have a very large catchment area, a very large drainage basin. So the amount of uh, sediment that they, can uh, that they can transport during these big floods is somewhat limited. So we end up with fairly small, short and steep alluvial fans. Whereas in the Panamint Mountains, the east side of the Panamint Mountains is longer. It's a bigger area. So the flash floods we get here can form these much larger uh, aprons of uh, sediment. These alluvial fans tend to be much larger because the way these mountains are tilted down to the east on each side. So again, spectacular landscapes here in Death Valley. The iconic alluvial fans, which forms uh, a lot of the landscape features around here. And again, just another great feature here in Death Valley.